Today we have an iPhone comparison test between the four previous generation iPhones and the new iPhone 4S. Let's get started. First, let's do a web browsing test. Let's start off with Apple.com. Okay, it looks like the iPhone 4S1 followed by the iPhone 4 and then 3GS back to back. But now the uh, iPhone 2 and 3G finish at the exact same time. All right. Now let's do a test with uh, New York Times. Okay, it looks like the iPhone 4S won very fast, followed by iPhone 4, and then the 3GS. And then yet again, the iPhone 2G and 3G are still loading the page. Okay, and then the 2G just finished, and then the 3G is the last one. And that just finished. Okay, and for our last site, let's do ESPN.com. Alright, looks like the iPhone 4S was finished first, followed by the iPhone 4, and then now the 3GS, and then the iPhone 3G and 2G are still pretty far behind. Alright, and then the 3G just finished like a minute later followed by the 2G and please note that the cache and cookies and history were all cleared prior to this web browser test. Okay, now let's do a basic functionality test. Let's start off with calendar. Okay, it looks like the iPhone 4S one followed by the iPhone 4 and the 3GS and then the iPhone 3G and then lastly, the 2G. All right, now let's do weather. Okay, it looks like the iPhone 4 one followed by the uh, 4S one followed by the iPhone 4, 3GS, and then the 2G, and then lastly, the 3G. Okay, now let's do an app speed test. Let's start off with Angry Birds Rio. Alright, looks like the 4S started first, followed by the iPhone 4, and then 3GS, and then the iPhone 2G, followed by the iPhone 3G. I could have probably com completed level 1 by now, before the, two, the 3G has even started. Okay, our second app that we're going to test is Tiny Wings. Alright, looks like the iPhone 4S, one a couple of seconds, followed by the iPhone 4, and then the 3GS, and now the iPhone 3G, finally, versus the 2G.